public protector wants the Constitutional Court to reverse an order that she pay an estimated 900,000 rand in legal costs. This is a portion of the costs incurred by the South African Reserve Bank in the Bank Cop murder. The case related to a report Mkwebane released in 2017 recommending that APSA repay the Reserve Bank for a Bank Cop bailout during the apartheid era. Let's go live to our reporter, Yanke Tome, at the Constitutional Court for more on this story. Yanke, good morning to you. So, Today, is it the start of um, the hearings into this matter? What can we expect? Uh, yes, we can expect to hear from uh, the public protectors' legal teams today as well as the Reserve Bank. As uh, you mentioned, that this relates to uh, that high court order that the public protector pay about 15% of the costs of the Reserve Bank's application for the review and the setting aside of the public protector's remedial action. Now, what the public protector is saying is that it was inappropriate for the high court to order that she didn't personally bear the costs for the application because, according to her legal team, this interferes with her independence. So what she she is saying that even though she was wrong in some of her uh, remedial action in her report, it is inappropriate for her to then bear the, per the cost personally. What the Reserve Bank is saying is that they believe that the court found that she acted in bad faith and therefore she must carry those costs. And that is quite important when it comes to whether she acted in bad faith or with gross negligence because this same court uh, found in the matter with, uh, with Sasa and the former social development minister but I believe Lamini that uh, public officials should only be held accountable personally for the costs if it can be found that she acted in bad, bad faith or with gross negligence. So that will be, have to be established in this court today in order for uh, the Constitutional Court to order that the public protector then pay that estimated 900,000 rand. All right, uh, Yanke Tome, we'll have to leave it there for the moment. Yanke Tome covering that particular case at the Constitutional Court for us.